last night I looked up to see how long does it take to get good on the theremin? <laughs> Only about 10,000 hours. Now, if you break that down at two hours a, a day, seven days a week, that comes out to 12 and a half years. <laughs> Oh, and I'm on day three, and, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, mercy, yeah. Only 12 years. Uh, so, again, not an easy thing to learn. Uh, it takes lots and lots and lots of practice uh, getting to know the um, because there is no guide points anywhere. You're in the middle of air, pulling out sounds out of the middle of the air. <laughs> and if you were off by just this much, this much, it's a different note. It's not like you've got a whole lot of room there for adjustment, you don't, okay? And that's why you see on the film, <laughs> when I'm doing the one step beyond, I'm making the faces. <laughs> it's like because it's, that note is not right on. And it, it, if you've got good pitch and then you hear something that's just off, by it's like, oh, I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> so I'm sure there will be a whole lot of really just like, cringing faces as, as I'm working on the theremin. <laughs> but, but I just thought I would do for fun the one step beyond thing because it's so slighty anyway. And so, you know, um, yes, I know the notes on there were not perfect. Um, but that one has a lot of loose interpretation. Okay, it doesn't matter so much with that theme. But that theme, uh, like I said, it, as a kid, I would love that show. But every time that music theme would come on, I would just, the hair on the back of my neck would stand up, so to speak. I would just like shivers down my spine <laughs> every time I would hear that come on. <laughs> And they always play that when they get to the crucial part of explaining, you know, that these things really happened, you know, this this is the way it played out. I still love those, uh, the One Step Beyond series. If you've never seen it, uh, you can find it. Uh, if you look, you can find it. I actually had the discs from it at one point. Where they're at, I don't know. I have to find them again. But these were all really unusual things that happen. People that had either psychic visions or premonitions or something would take place that would alter um, that were actually coming true. So it, it's a really interesting series, The One Step Beyond. I wish they would put something up that like that again, that w it was a good series. Um, yeah, I found them on the net again the other night and I saw that one again where the woman was uh, going to get married and she had a vision of the chandelier falling and killing, killing her as she was dancing this waltz. And so she did, she was getting engaged and they were gonna have it in that ballroom. And she just said, I can't, I can't, I can't go in there. And uh, the guy that she was getting engaged to said, well, I wasn't in your vision, was I? And she said, no. He said, well, as long as you're with me, you're fine. Well, she went through her whole life and she was fine. It never took place. But then it was her granddaughter that was having her coming out um, 
you know, introducing her to the public as a young lady, and she was killed by the chandelier. All of a sudden, she heard this sound, and she remembered it from the thing, and she ran in, and the, the granddaughter had gotten killed standing under that chandelier. So what she was seeing in the beginning was not her own death. It was the death of her granddaughter, who happened to look a lot like her. So very interesting. There was another one that was really interesting, too, that I just saw again, and it was this guy had gotten married, and they were, was with his bride in the car uh, going to their honeymoon. And then all of a sudden they're driving down this thing and the change came over her and she goes, go down that road. There's a tree fallen there. And she had gotten, um, I don't want to say possessed. Uh, this spirit had come over her of this woman that was killed. And so she was talking through this new bride. It, it was a total, she's, she's like telling the, the guy, you know, that got married, don't touch me, don't, you know, you know. <laughs> He's going, what the heck? This is, you know, this is not like her. It doesn't even sound like her. You know, the vocal pattern changed, everything changed. And uh, they were thinking that the woman he just got married to was having a breakdown. Well, she wasn't. She was possessed by this other woman that wanted to say, look, I didn't commit suicide because they were telling everybody she committed suicide. She said, I didn't commit suicide. My husband killed me. Okay. He hit me in the head with a an heavy object and then threw my body off this cliff to make it look like I committed suicide. And uh, they were trying to keep this woman heavily drugged and everything. Well, she finally, you know, got out and ran over and dug up this heavy object that the guy killed her with. And then they finally uh, looked into it and the spirit released the other girl. She came back. She had no clue what even happened. She was unaware of it. But they did um, solve the case that she hadn't been, hadn't committed suicide. In fact, she had been killed by her husband. And so uh, she was able, she, it really bothered her spirit. She hung around and said, no, 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 this is, this is not what happened. And she was gonna get justice <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> so uh, she was able to, you know, take over this woman's body for a short time to tell her story that this is, you know, this has happened, okay? So if you've never seen the One Step Beyond series and you're interested in those kind of really unusual happenings that are true stories, it's a good one to watch. There was also another one um, during, it was during the wartime in England really interesting story as well. So I'm gonna leave this here, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on this morning. I'm gonna see if I can look those up again because they were really interesting stories and things like that absolutely can take place. People can have premonitions and um, visions, those types of things. I know in my own paths I've had very clear visions and like reliving it in the moment. Some of the visions can be really overwhelming, like you're reliving it in that second when the vision is playing out. So I've had that before of uh, something I needed to know in a past life had to do with something that was um, occurring in this life that I had to transition through uh, and, and so it was uh, an important thing to know. So that opened up and I was able to see and experience that vision as to what was going on in this life that had to do with that. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, those things happen. Uh, it can happen along the way. Yeah. So... 
Thanks for tuning in. See you online. Have a great day. Aho.